and this is amazing. This is this Kurdish Peshmerga post is literally a castle on the Iranian border. Who knows how old this place is? But here we are ascending to the top with the Peshmerga on the Iranian border. Wow. So this is Iran right here. These are IRGC positions. Quds Force, Revolutionary Guards Corps. Very dangerous. And I'm sure watching us right now as we speak. Uh, the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps, which by the way, has been designated by the Trump administration as a terrorist organization, officially designated by the State Department, and rightfully so. The Peshmerga soldiers are here at this post. I would say this is the edge of the civilized world on the Iran border, where we have the world's leading sponsor of terror on the other side. We're staring at right now, again, these IRGC positions all around us here on the mountains of Iran. Uh, but the Peshmerga bravely are on the front lines here. Again, all that's holding back the wolves of the Iranian regime from coming to your neighborhood. The Kurds are here on the front line of defense for the broader Middle East. Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps position, as Dalton said, are ringing around us. Uh, they have the high ground and they're looking down at us and the brave soldiers of the Kurdish Peshmerga here. They're watching for sure, but we have this rare opportunity to be here and to bring this to you folks in your living rooms. This is Iran. One of the reasons why we wanted to bring you here and so that the viewers could see it is to understand the threat that the Kurds are facing because apart from Israel the Kurds are our greatest ally and Israel's greatest ally in the region and what they're asking for right now is a fundamental change in policy so that the Kurds would be supported directly not through Baghdad why because Baghdad is under the influence of Iran so we can't designate the IRGC as a terrorist organization and, and on this side of the country and be funding them on the other side of the country, which is what's happening right now. Yeah, and Baghdad, so, uh, Sana'a, Damascus, Beirut, all under the influence of Iran as they march across the region and literally Dalton, all that's standing between the Iranian regime and its greater ambition of regional domination and the destruction of Israel is Iraqi Kurdistan. Look, I think President Trump made a brilliant decision in withdrawing from the Iranian nuclear deal because the deal that was penned in 2015 did not address at all strategic weapons in the form of ballistic missiles. So the Iranian regime is moving them all across the Middle East through where? Through, Iraq, through Baghdad, through, Syria, through yeah. Iraq. This is why it's of strategic, imperative, urgent importance right now that we stand with the Kurds directly, not yeah. through indirectly through Baghdad, yeah. because Arad Baghdad has become the center of the land bridge and moving yeah. strategic weapons, moving them all the way to the Mediterranean and posing a threat to the state of Israel today. Yeah. So, To say we have exclusive access here is an understatement. We are right now on the Iraq, Iraqi Kurdistan Iran border. You are looking into Iran, the world's number one state sponsor of terrorism, the Iranian regime, lurks just over the hills here. It's right there, the border crossing. We are surrounded by Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps positions. And here's the crazy thing that people need to understand. These Shia militias, it's called Hashd al-Shabi, or the PMUs, the paramilitary forces. These forces were rogue, disconnected from the Central Ministry of Defense. Now, the Iraqi government federalized them, incorporated them into the federal army, which means that Iranian trained, Iranian sponsored, Iranian backed, Iranian influenced militias now constitute somewhere between 70 and 90 percent of the federal Iraqi army that the United States has spent trillions of dollars and a lot of blood and a lot That's of right. treasure to build up. So in many ways, it's a, it's a hard reality for Americans to, to accept, but this is the reality. We have empowered Iraq becoming Iran. An Iranian satellite. We have all that blood and treasure expended by the United States since 2003, and, and that's the outcome. And, and even Dalton, after the defeat of ISIS, the destruction of the caliphate, which the Kurdish Peshmerga bravely led on the ground with coalition and U.S. air support, President Trump kept his promise, crushed the caliphate. ISIS crushed, but 
Iran an even greater threat filling that vacuum. It's, it's very frustrating. And our, our friends here, the Peshmerga, they've been saying this for years. I remember asking them before the campaign to liberate Mosul began, so how do you feel? Do you guys, are you, are yeah. you, do you feel excited about the prospect of, to see the defeat of the Islamic State? And they said, to be honest, no, we don't. We feel fear. And I said, well, why? They said, because of what comes next. Once you remove that, that linchpin, what's gonna happen is it's set in motion a much greater conflict that's gonna make the Islamic State look like a speed bump. And that's really where we're at right now, is the beginning stages of that conflict.